what's up aries welcome back to my channel it is ashley here at fire intuition i am here to do your you versus them love reading this will be for aries summer rising also venus keep in mind that this is general it is for all aries but it may or may not resonate with you guys so only take what resonates and never force it to fit. if i resonate please do show your girl some love like share comment subscribe hit that bell and if you guys would love to get a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. That is the only way you guys can book with me, Aries. The September Road Opener Box is now available on my online shop, mytearshavehealedmyheart.com. And the September Special and the September Raffle end on September 18th. So if you guys want more information, everything will be pinned in the comments below. Or you guys can go to my IG page, fire underscore intuition our um my facebook page fire intuition all right so let's see what's going on with you aries when it comes to you versus this person all right let's see what's going on with aries aries what's going on with aries oh shit is that a little fortune reverse could be a sagittarius you know, the five of cups i feel like somebody is trying to come back into your life or you want somebody to come back into your life, but there's some sadness, there's some disappointment, some rejection behind it. Let's see. Aries, judgment. I know you have a few of pentacles, but I'm only going to take three. I feel like that's what you guys are debating, whether or not you should let this person back into your life. Um, it was a situation that didn't move forward. And there was some sadness here. Some, like I said, some sadness, some regret. You guys were like really crying. You felt this if this person was your soulmate. But it could be areas that maybe you felt as if like, because when I look at the five of cups sometimes, somebody is like seeing that there's love and two of cups here while the other person is like sitting in their feelings or sad or crying. And I feel like you wanted this person to see what you saw. Like, okay, this is the two of cups. Like we can have a relationship. There's a connection here. And I feel like they weren't seeing it, but they're trying to come back into your life. And you guys could be de be debating, sorry, whether or not you want to give this person a second chance. This is a blast from the past. We are in retrograde too. We have the Hermit in Reverse, Virgo Energy, Four of Wands, and we have the Devil. So I feel like this was, you know, definitely toxic. Um, I feel like family and friends didn't like this person or didn't approve of their relationship or could have been on their side. And with the Hermit in Reverse, this was like sadness and depression. Somebody kind of feeling lost. Somebody not really going with you, not really soul searching. Somebody that is not in tune with themselves. And the reason why I say that is because like, I feel like somebody just feels like kind of lost, whether it's you or them. Somebody feels like they don't know what to do now that this relationship is over, or now that something is over with, or somebody that their addictions or something get in the way of this relationship, or somebody could have been very abusive or controlling and could have blended on like stress or depression and somebody's family or somebody didn't agree on something here. It has to do with family and friends, though, or like just certain people around you not agreeing with this person, their lifestyle or something like that. And I feel as if this person is a setback, but maybe you don't see it like that or maybe you do. But it's like at the end of the day, you feel like, OK, we have this connection and this is somebody that I want to be with. So let's see. Why is the of fortune in reverse for Aries? We have the moon. We have the ace of cups. So I would just say at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, Aries, you do have feelings for this person. And you may try to act as if this person was a setback or a delay or was not good for you. But I do see where you were crying, where I see where you, where you were sad. And I see where there is a lot of love there. And you were hoping that this person will free themselves from for whatever it is that was stopping and blocking you guys from being together. Or it's like you were hoping this person was going to turn themselves around come back to you fight for you and want this relationship that is what i thought you either have told yourself or that's how this person feels towards you because the reading could be interchangeable now with the five of cups here and i feel like the reason why this is coming out is because like, like i said see family or somebody disapproves four of pentacles is in reverse so you could be telling yourself like i'm over it i'm done or you're telling people like oh you broke up i'm over i'm done i don't want to be with them anymore but i see where somebody is definitely wanting to heal and forgive this person and get back with them. And that is you, Aries. Look, the Queen of Wands. You haven't let this person go. So whether you're dealing with another Aries or 
it could, like I said, it could be interchangeable, but I see you guys still having strong feelings for this person, still wanting this person. Maybe just don't like the situation between you guys, but still wanting this person though, okay? So let's see why the judgment card is here for Aries. Why is judgment here for Aries? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So some of you guys want to finish what you started, but then some of you guys are like, should I invest in this or not? What if it doesn't go anywhere? What if they come back and waste my time? We have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. We have Judgment. We have the Seven of Swords. So you guys are thinking about the relationship, how it failed. Maybe feeling like this person is wasting your time. Maybe thinking that this person is going to be deceptive, lie up to something. So I just feel like you're kind of like all over the place right now, Aries. And just, just, just don't know how you feel. But I will say family or somebody's family doesn't like this. Somebody's family doesn't approve of this relationship. Eight of Swords is here. So I do see you sucking in your head. Okay, so some of you guys may be kind of like in a mental prison right now where you're just like, Look, I don't know what to think, what to feel, what to believe. But it could be that both your families don't like each other. Or it's definitely one of you guys' family is against this. And somebody has made it clear that they are moving on and walking away from this. But that can also be what's stressing you guys out too. So let's see how the four of wands is in reverse because we have it twice. Yeah, I see eight of cups in a, with a new deck. So... Somebody has told their family, like, I moved on, I walked away, I'm doing what's best for me, I'm letting go of the emotional baggage, this person has caused me, you know, so much hurt, pain, whatever, and you're telling someone or someone in your family or friends or people think that you really have walked away and that you're over this person and moving on and moving forward, you know, um, and it could be due to the fact that you guys haven't been talking or that you guys aren't talking, but over here, I see opposite. So I feel like somebody isn't being honest in how they really feel towards somebody and definitely not being honest with family and friends or people that are around them. So like I said, if this is not you, Aries, then this could be your person because it could be in reverse. It could be interchangeable. But somebody still has a lot of love and feelings for somebody. And that is what's hidden. So somebody is hiding their true feelings because of their family. All right? So when it comes to this person, we have the... Six of Wands, we have the Queen of Cups reverse. And we have Temperance. So yeah, this is somebody that I feel wants to reconcile and come back into your life. Um, we have the Six of Wands. So let's see, because we have the Queen of Cups reverse. Let's see why this Queen of Cups is in reverse. They may feel like you're like very emotional right now. Um, the higher font, Taurus. So, somebody may feel like, okay, let me see something. But why would this be here, though? See, see? They think that you're listening to family, Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. And they feel like it's time. Somebody, I don't know who it is, but somebody feels like somebody should, should put their foot down and set boundaries and, like, tell their family, like, to stay out of it. Family is why you guys are not together for a lot of you guys. And I feel like maybe it's because somebody said something. Because, like, this person wants to come back and commit to you and, and start a new beginning with you. But they feel like you're so wrapped up emotionally in what your family and friends or other people are saying. That even if they did come back with a solid offer, you still won't look at it as a solid offer. Because people don't want you to move forward with this person. Our family, our friend, whoever. People don't want you to move forward. But this person is telling you, like, do what makes you happy or this is what you're telling them. Okay? So let's see how the Six of Wands is here. Ace of Wands in reverse. So this person really does want to come towards you guys. But for some of you guys, they may change your mind and not put energy into this. Um, they do want to talk in person or see you guys. But I don't really see any movement. I see movement, but then I see them stopping. The Nine of Wands. Yeah. This is somebody that's guarded and defensive. Or somebody preparing themselves to be guarded and defensive. Because they feel like... Again, like they feel like um, your family may say something or you may say something. They're trying not to be defensive. Let's see why temperance is here. King of Cups. Yeah, it could be a water sign. Yeah, somebody's coming in, telling you how they feel. Definitely wanting you to um, accept their offer and move forward. The Four of Cups in reverse can be somebody that is getting out of an emotional rut. So getting, so getting out of their feelings. No longer letting the situation or the person affect them emotionally. And like moving on from that. So maybe they're hoping that you are at a point where like you're ready to like move forward um, emotionally, meaning like you're not listening to what other people have to say or you're not letting things of the past affect you or that have affected you in the past so that you guys can move forward. The high priestess in reverse. Somebody is horny. 
aroused, thinking about you as well. Yeah. And that's definitely one of the things that they miss and they want to reconcile. But I feel like there's also secrets here too. Let me see. Okay. So if it's not secrets, then it's like somebody suspects that somebody's trying to come back and reconcile with them just to start shit or just to like get somebody upset and mad. And that's not the case. The higher is here twice with the Ace of Swords. Somebody really wants to talk about commitment or relationship. Now, some of you guys can be from different ethnic backgrounds or you guys just have different beliefs or like somebody is listening to what their family is saying and, you know, what their family believes that you guys should do or what they should do or you should do. But because somebody is definitely stuck in some type of belief system or like somebody is definitely a product of their environment or somebody is in their head telling them like, look, this is what you should and should not do. All I would say, Aries, regardless of if this is you, your person or both you guys. It's going to stay blocked if somebody does not come out of this tradition, you know, or this belief, you know, like somebody definitely needs to break it. Like this may be like some type of generational curse or something that you guys are breaking. I don't know, but it looks like something is like really stopping and blocking you guys from being together. And it has to do with family. Yes, Ten of Swords. But I will say, though, and I'm not talking about anybody's family or friends or anything like that. The people that are saying things are the people that are in between your relationships or relationship their relationships have failed they have been destroyed hurt and love so it's like even if this person was the the man or the woman of your dreams they're never going to see it like that because they don't know what that really feels like they've been through a lot or they deal with a lot or they put up with a lot of shit you know so it's like when it comes to love i wouldn't take advice from this person i get it it's your family or your friends and some people are like oh family is family but people got to remember sometimes that family is not always going to be right and if you really want something, you need to go off what you want. You know? I'm not saying, like, fuck your family, keep them to the curb. No. But it's like, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, look, and then the people that are in your family or whoever this is, they always were the provider, the giver. They did everything. They kept the relationship going. So if it wasn't for them, the relationship would have never been there, never been solid. And I feel like this is definitely something that you guys need to break. A cycle. Some type of pattern. Or something like that. But, um... How would your family feel if you guys got back together? See, they wouldn't be happy. They'll be pissed. The sun is in reverse, nine the cups are in reverse. They'll be shattered, hurt, mad. They'll tell you to move on. They'll tell you to move on and not deal with them, period. You guys can have maybe a Leo or Cancer as a parent, sibling, you know. But let's see, why is the chariot here? But they'll be, they'll be, they'll be, you know, I'll take cards off the ground. They'll be disappointed. They'll feel like you're stuck or that, you know, like you're just holding yourself back and that you need to move forward and go towards somebody else. But like I said, this is somebody that has had failed relationships. So my thing is this. I will only take advice from people who have long term relationships, healthy relationships, marriage, commitments, things to talk about. You know, like if you guys are going to go to somebody that like can't keep a man, can't keep a woman, like and not to judge, but have like multiple Kids' fathers are multiple, like, they have different moms. Like, you know, eight kids, eight different moms. Like, I'm not judging nobody because everybody's situation is different. You just never know. But if they got all these kids and they're not on good terms with all of them and they're not taking care of their kids and parenting and taking the care of responsibility, those will be the last people I would talk to, get advice from, or deal with. Your family is your family. If they love you, they're going to love you regardless of whatever choice you make. Um... Now, if this situation is bad and it's terrible and you, you know in your heart, like, I love this person, but they ain't shit and I shouldn't be with them and my family is right, then go off of that. Okay? Um, Aries, I'm not going to tell you guys what to do, but I'm just telling you that somebody in your family is like, a, I'll just put it this way, they're a hater and they're mad because their relationship didn't go well or their relationship failed or they got cheated on or lied to or they're going through something in their relationship or, you know, they had to... Like, they did everything for the relationship or something like that. And I, I get where they're coming from. They don't want you to fall in that place. You know, like, they don't want you to be like them. But at the same time, you and your person are not like them and whoever they were with. So they need to stop doing that. Because if, if they do that, you will never be happy. Because I'm getting somebody's family is just like, ugh. And then the other person's family, like, just doesn't care. They're just like, oh, okay, y'all back together. Okay. So, I don't know. I just feel Aries, like, you should just definitely follow 
what you want. Yeah. And some of you guys are going to get that. Once you guys let your family go or stop worrying about your family and letting your family stress you or bother you, you go from the Queen of Pentacles, Page of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. You and your person really start to talk about things that excite you or marriage or living together, children, stuff like that. You guys really get the chance to talk about commitment. Or you go towards a relationship that's leading towards commitment, you know, or something serious, you know. Um, so I don't know, Aries, this was a little different, but your family is what's stopping and blocking you guys from getting together. Yeah, or someone's family is a hitter and doesn't want to see y'all together. That's all I can say. All right, so let's see. Aries. So we have single. Damn, I keep dropping your card. Somebody, you guys can be single right now. We have just chill. You are the one. We have entertainment. This one likes dessert for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yes, so they like to entertain you. They like to eat it morning, noon, and night. Let's see. Okay. Obsessed. This person is addicted to you. They're addicted to that entertainment, Aries. I don't know what y'all doing. Let's see. We have needy. Spiritual connection. So you guys have a spiritual connection. There is a strong bond with you and this person. Somebody between you guys can be needy or maybe you're needy or maybe they are. Or both you guys are. And then let's see. We have temporary. The best way to get over the ex or the past is to entertain something new. So let's see what this is about. The world card and we have with the tower. Some of you guys did meet somebody new. Could be a Scorpio because we have the world and we have the tower. Could be a Leo, a Taurus, or, or an Aquarius. It doesn't matter what sign it is. But it's like somebody did meet somebody new, but it is, it's already going to fall apart or it's already falling apart. Or it's about to come to an ending very soon. It is definitely temporary for sure. So, like I said, regardless if it's you, Aries, or your person, somebody has met somebody new. But it's just sex. It's just temporary. It's just a good time. And that's it. There's That's it. There's nothing else to that situation. All right? So, let's pull your additional love messages. All right, let's see. Aries. And it said, I should have handled things differently, especially with you. That's what I'm saying. I miss holding you and touching your skin. So somebody misses, they miss you. They miss holding you. And they feel like they should have definitely handled things differently. And that's what I'm getting to. I feel like they should have, you know. But sometimes family can have a hold of us or... You know, because that's our family. You know, we were born and raised into our family. And, you know, they say family is there before and after. I have my I have my opinion when it comes to family. Because some of the people that weren't my family were, like, better to me. than Like, they were, they treated me better than family. You know, so I guess it just all depends. But then I have some family members that, like, you know, like, I be family, you know. But it just all depends. Everybody's different. Okay. So, no, I'm not talking about nobody's family or judging y'all. I'm just telling y'all what I see in the cards. All right, Aries. Um, that is your reading. If it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys love to book, fireintuition.com. All right, that is the only way you guys can book. Bye, Aries.